So I hope you are all doing well. If you haven't seen, if you're hiding under a rock, DaVinci Resolve 18 is now out. If you're still holding off to install it, that's perfectly fine. But this information is going to be good for anyone that at some point will be going to DaVinci Resolve 18. There was a lot of stuff that was added into 18 to make things faster. A portion of that was writing of the project files into the database. And to go on with that, instead of DaVinci Resolve databases, now they are DaVinci Resolve project libraries so there is a little bit of a rewrite when it comes to naming of these elements but if we're going to 18 because there was a big database update and a lot of stuff was changed it doesn't matter if you have a local database or a Postgres database there were a lot of things changed for if you are interested in using Blackmagic Cloud. If you're interested in knowing more about Blackmagic Cloud, uh, subscribe to the channel. I will have a video coming soon about that as well as videos on all the stuff in Fusion that wasn't really talked about in any of the releases uh, that I'm excited about and I will be showing you in the up and coming weeks. Now that I think about it, I don't ever think I said to subscribe to the channel in the several hundred videos that I've made on this channel. I'm a horrible YouTuber. Anyways, so uh, going to 18, because there is this big update, the database that is currently connected to DaVinci Resolve, once you do that update, you can't go back. And so if we ever need to go back, we need to be able to have a copy of the database in its current form before we do the upgrade. And so I will be explaining to you how to do that. So let's jump over to the uh, DaVinci Resolve. And here we are, we're jumping over. Okay, so now from here, we will see this is going from 16 to 17, but we're gonna be going from 17 to 18, but I just wanted to show you. Uh, when it's time to do a big update, when they're rewriting all of the stuff on the back end of saving the projects, we're gonna see something like this where we can't actually look at the database until we do the upgrade. Once we do the upgrade, we can't go back. So instead of that, what we can do is we can come up here and we can do a database uh, backup, right? So that's just going to be a file that we can put in wherever we want to. Um, and these are good to do every once in a while in case uh, you have something that is catastrophic. So you can get the the database files off your system. So if your laptop dies, at least you have all the project files or project library in another location. So you can then, you know, put this wherever. Uh, so yeah, this is always a good button. Speaking of which, you probably don't know how to get here. Uh, if you, this is normally what it looks like. Uh, if you click this little button, then we can see all of the databases. So I have my disk, which are the local ones that are saved in my computer. And then we have Postgres, which are saved in a Postgres server, which you could host on your local computer or uh, in the cloud or on another device at your facility. Uh, but um, I don't really wanna dive into the specifics on those, but we're just going over the backing up. So we're gonna click this little button here, and that's just going to ask us where we want to save that file. You then pick a location to save that file, and then you have that file. Uh, but once you get into the new version, it's just going to prompt you like this here to actually do a upgrade of the database. But now they're referred to as project libraries. And there's other, one other thing that I wanted to quickly show you here, um, and that is if we jump over to the other system. So if we jump over to the other system, now this one obviously looks a little bit different. This one's actually running a Linux, but we'll quickly jump into DaVinci Resolve because there's actually some other cool things that we can do. So that is going to be a whole backup, right? So if we're backing up the whole database or the whole project library, depending on which system you're on. So like we can see here, this one says project library. If we come over here, it says database up here at the top. So we're gonna go into our project library and once we have a project saved, now you can't see this um, element until there's actually a project saved, so then that's the one that we could back up. So we click on this project, and then we can click this little button here, and now we can copy projects from location to location. Now, this is big. 
uh, for a number of different reasons, because now we don't have to take project files and get them, you know, sending them to someone and then getting them back. I'm gonna go into a whole thing about all of the cloud stuff in another video, so subscribe. Uh, but the big thing here is if we're on our local database, instead of sending that project file, we could just open up a cloud server, which the video will come and we can pick whichever one we want. We want to copy to, so we'll go to the cloud. And then once I had my project or my, uh, my uh, account set up here, then we would be able to see these filled up just like this. So this is saying the local database and that will say whatever the other one, the project library, excuse me. And then if we want to put it in a folder, so that's super cool because if we're working with someone else, so let's say I am doing all of the overlays, right? And so I could do all of the overlays on my local system or if I'm flying for seven hours, I could do all of the overlays. And then once I land and I get some internet, I could take that project and copy it over to my client's cloud, um, uh, project library and then they would now have access to all that stuff that I was working on so that is super cool I can't wait to show you all the ins and outs of 18 but the big thing to remember is that if you want to go from 17 to 18 there is a project library upgrade also known as a database upgrade and those are not reversible so we can't um, go back and so we need to make that backup file in case we need to go back so if we were to go back and let's say um, uh, we were going from 18 back to 17 installing it it's just going to say here instead of upgrading it it's going to say that that particular database is uh, for a newer version of DaVinci Resolve. So then all you would have to do is come up here and we're going to restore. So then we would find that file and then restore that file onto our system. And then we're good to go where we left off before we did the upgrade. Anything in the 18 database isn't going to be able to come back to 17. There are a lot of different things changed within DaVinci Resolve. So we can only move forward with those uh, projects. Hopefully that it made sense there. So I just wanted to put out a quick video saying to make sure that you back up your database. It is always a good thing to do, um, especially if you do not have something on a separate system. So if you have you know stuff on your local system, a local disk, and that disk dies, you lose all of those project files. So backing up the whole library is always a good thing to do. Look forward on the YouTube channel for more stuff to come about all of the cool things that are now in DaVinci Resolve 18. I kind of recommend everyone to give 18 a try. The whole holding the badge of uh, it being a public beta pretty much means that they are running it on their internal systems. It is pretty stable, but with the several thousand different um, configurations of systems all across the world, uh, we can't really you know, develop, or I should say Blackmagic can't really develop anything to make sure that it works for all systems. And so as the uh, crash reports uh, go into Blackmagic, they can start to see a trend for particular tools or different uh, functions that are being used that need to be addressed before it can become a full build and doesn't have that beta on there anymore. But there are a lot of cool features, especially if you have the studio version, there are, there are a lot of cool features that will save people a ton of time. When I mean a ton of time, I mean a ton of time, you know, if you actually use those tools. <laughs> but yeah, uh, they're gonna save a ton of time as well as because now all of that cloud stuff is going on, the way in which that projects are saved, they cut the fat off of the files. And so if you have a local database, a Postgres database, or should I say project library, or one on the cloud, the backend on saving those, the, the fat was cut off. So everything is faster. So even if you don't use the cloud or you don't use Postgres, if you have it on your local system, you, depending on your hardware, you more than likely will see some aspect of uh, faster speeds when opening and closing projects or saving projects, should I say, um, just because the overall fat in that project has been significantly cut down. 
Uh, but yeah, with that being said, look in the future for these videos. If you have specifics on things that you want to see covered or um, yeah, that were just talked about in general, uh, leave them down below. I will take a look at them. And depending on if I see a trend of things, I will, you know, make considerations to make those videos before the other ones that I want to show. But there has been a lot of stuff added across the whole DaVinci Resolve that wasn't talked about in depth and so i'm going to be doing in-depth videos on those in the future but with that being said my name is jr thank you so much for watching until the next one peace learn everything in davinci resolve download and create using pre-made templates get one-on-one -on -one davinci resolve support and much much more link in the description for more information